Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I hope everyone's doing well. So today let's go over the Zega Manage ETS for the month for the month of March 2024. One second here, let me just pull up the old spreadsheet and the old PowerPoint. Uh, so there's quite a few of them now. Uh, so which ones are good and which ones are bad. Uh, so I'm going to go over a few things. Uh, it's going to go over the price rank, uh, the average yield, the standard deviation, the liquidity, correlation, and potential drawdowns. Uh, so things are still new and they will change over time. Uh, so I'm going to look at the distribution uh, in the, the volume. So one second while I pull up the spreadsheet. All right, so hopefully everybody can see everything. Okay, so let's start with the distributions. So hopefully this is big enough. Uh, let me see if I can make this a little bit bigger. So this way, um, I'm going to pause for maybe like a few seconds on like from Tesla all the way to Moderni. Uh, this way you can maybe copy or maybe like look for like the ones that you're interested in. Uh, and this way you can kind of maybe just jot down like a few notes. Uh, for myself personally, I think like the average distribution and then also like the standard deviation of that distribution uh, is kind of like what's important to me. So for example, um, I want to see how, like, like for example, like right now, uh, Kony, AMDY, and MRNY have the highest average distribution rate, and I think that's pretty important uh, because you want to make sure that you know, you don't want to just like make your purchase decisions just based off of like one distribution. Like for example, I know like you know Nvidia is pretty exciting uh, because right now like that's like the biggest one I I believe. Uh, they have like 2,062 cents of distribution, which is, you know, pretty outstanding. Uh, but then if you notice like over like the course, course uh, over the course of like the distribu distribution history, like it has been as low as 42 cents. Uh, so hopefully they'll be able to kind of keep up like their overall average. And hopefully like over time, you'll see like that 98 cents, like kind of be closer to what these other guys can pay. So then, like conversely, also like the the three worst ones so far are Shomo. Actually, let me scroll this over a little bit. Uh, Tress and THTA. Uh, you know, I, I guess like they're not too exciting for for some people. Uh, so that's why, like I guess like people aren't really paying attention to it. And also for like the standard deviation. Uh, you kind of, this is just like a good like ballpark number just to see like how like every how like month over month how like it fluctuates and then the consistent receive ratio is just like the average over like standard deviation uh, just so you can get like get a sense of like which ones have like the most consistent so far now be careful with ymax uh, just because like so far it's the highest one but i guess over time like as we get more and more distribution like history uh we can see like how well it does like over time um so i expect this number to kind of go down a little bit over time uh iwmy so a similar issue it only has four months of distributions but so far it's been pretty consistent uh same thing with uh pp uh even though it's only for like five months it's been pretty pretty consistent so i guess so that's important to you uh that might be something that you may want to consider as well and then msty is a little too new for to to get any uh, distribution information so hopefully in april and then ulti is off to a good start i would say uh they announced it uh recently in fact uh, today and then also i i didn't want to wait for like the thta just because i don't think anybody cares too much about this particular product uh i don't think so so far has really been been marketing this product uh, as well and then one thing to note I, I noticed something interesting with YMAX and YMAG uh, these calculations off to the side or just what I thought would be like the the distribution rates uh, just based on what they said uh, because I thought they're gonna do like an equal weighted but as you as you can see like YMAX like I, I was expecting 89 cents but they have uh, 56 and then for YMAG I was expecting 96 cents and then they have it lower so I'm wondering if they're doing it 
if they're taking into account like the number of shares outstanding so if there's more like shares outstanding than that that unfortunately means there's like some some shareholder dilution uh so i'm wondering if that's that's playing a factor uh because even last month my 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 guess was off a little bit too in, in fact was that actually quite a bit off but anyway i guess like going forward i'm not gonna really talk about like my own side calculations uh, i guess what's important is that is what's actually paid so hopefully everybody had a had a chance to kind of copy everything like what, what whatever they need so let me move on to like the price rank okay so the price rank uh what this means is that how it like the current price relates to how uh, like the recent like 52 week high and 52 week low so for example uh msty is doing the best right now just because it's actually above like the the recent like 52 week high uh so this is doing quite well in terms of like price action uh so this is probably important for those that like you're afraid of nav erosion this kind of helps a little bit in terms of uh setting expectations of like how how far it can actually drop so the higher the the better in terms of numbers uh so let me just scroll down slowly so you guys can kind of see which ones are are doing well so far like spy t has been kind of keeping up uh towards its 52 week high and then of course near the bottom unfortunately i guess everybody knows what's happening with tesla uh you know it's just the tesla underlying isn't doing well at all uh, and then of course like treasury um this is actually a little surprising um i was expecting the price like the just like the overall price performance to to be a little bit better but anyway it, it's still relatively new as well so we'll give them a chance to kind of maybe sort itself out and then um i'm a little disappointed also to see like triple qy kind of like near near the bottom as well but keep in mind that the this is a really popular product so any time like people kind of like jumping in it, it unfortunately hurts like the the nav price so keep that in mind so this next one is the potential drawdown so i'm not saying that this is what's actually going to happen i'm just saying what could potentially happen because like if it's too far away from like this 52 week high that means like this is like a potential like drop depending depending on when you bought uh so for example uh well let's just ignore tesla again because like I, I guess people are kind of sick of this product um and i think like msty might be a better example uh so right now like so far uh it's been doing quite well uh just because like bitcoin and the other cryptos have been doing quite well so i expect this to last for maybe I'm guessing maybe another year and a half, but then after that, uh, look out below uh, because once people get bored with like a certain narrative, uh, then people will just continue selling. Uh, so then again, I'm not saying this, this is what's going to happen. I'm saying what could potentially happen. So keep this in mind, depending on how long you want to keep these products. Uh, same thing with NVIDIA. Uh, I don't know how long this AI narrative uh, will last, uh, but just, you know, just be careful. Uh, don't get uh, too crazy with any one particular underlying uh, so again let me scroll down a little bit to see so you guys can see which ones uh, you might be interested in keeping track of and so far like spy t you know i guess is off to a decent start like i don't expect any crazy action so far on this one uh y mag it's been keeping its 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 price in fact like the fund of funds like the y max ulti and YMAG have been doing okay so far. Uh, Tress and THTA, well, I guess like there's not a lot of action in this one, but this could be a good thing. Like you wanna, if you wanna, got, if you guys wanna like, um, I guess avoid like drawdowns, like these might be the ones that you might be, uh, cons that you might wanna consider. Uh, so let's take a look at the liquidity. Uh, so just, again, Tesla is getting a lot of like the, the volume but i'm glad to see ulti uh the new guy to it, it's pretty up there as well uh coney and vidi and triple qy ymax ymag i'm not too surprised uh these are pretty popular products so 
so I'm not too shocked to see that these guys are up there. Uh, so let me scroll down a little bit. Hopefully you guys can see everything. Uh, let me just make sure. Okay, so and hopefully uh, this is uh, big enough. And then like again, like closer to the bottom, like you know, guys like Shomo, JPMO, THTA, Disney, and the Trej products, like you know, they're not very popular. So. Uh, and then let's let's take a look at correlation. Uh, so correlation, like the lower the better, if you want more diversification. Uh, so for example, uh, triple QY and Trez. As you can imagine, like these are two very offsetting products. So if you want diversification, like the ones with the lower number is is better for you. And then one thing to note, um, I'm, since I'm sourcing this this data from Thinkorswim, sometimes I like to have like these wacky numbers. Uh, so take any of these numbers with a grain of salt. Um, so triple QY and triple QY obviously should have a correlation of one for some reason to have like negative 0.25. Um, I, I guess at this point, um, I'm kind of sick of like just just calling people and figuring out why. Um, I guess it is what it is. Uh, I guess there's not that much I can do about it. Uh, so let me scroll down a little bit more. Uh, so this way you can kind of see which ones are, I guess like you have a high correlation, so you might want to be careful with with ov overlapping like funds. Like for example, if you already have triple QY, it probably doesn't make sense to add too much of YMAX since they're so highly correlated. And of course like SPY-T, uh, since it's relatively new, uh, I guess like they, have, they don't have enough data to calculate the correlation. And surprisingly, Kony only has like 0.53, so it's only... So I guess it's not too bad of a of a di diversifier. So it's pretty kind of interesting. And then Ulti at point one, I'm actually kind of surprised like has it's been this low. But keep in mind it's also very new too. So hopefully you found this interesting. So let me just go back to the spreadsheet. Oh, excuse me, the the PowerPoint. Okay, so. So this is just like my opinion on what like the like the tier list would look like for March 2024. And keep in mind, you know, every month these things will change. Uh, so Kony, AMD, Y, MRNY, I uh, put like near the top. Uh, same thing with Square, NVD, and AIYY, at least for now. Uh, like I guess like one thing to note was that um, Google has been just lately just been like a dog. Uh, same thing with App Apple. Uh, even Tesla, surprisingly, like they're they were able to maintain like their distribution rate. Um, so, but of course, like you know, this changes like month to month. Uh, IWMY is doing doing quite well. Triple QY, uh, even Jeppy has been pretty decent. Even though it's like in the C tier, uh, th it doesn't mean it's bad. It's just in relation to like the other Zega uh, funds. Now, even though Ulti is relatively new, I'm just gonna put this temporarily in the A. Uh, I'm hoping eventually. This will uh, head into like the S category, but you know, uh, keep everything. Uh, well, I don't want to say too much about Ulti, uh, YMAG and YMAX. Uh, I guess it's not too surprising since they're like a fund of funds. Like it'll be closer towards the middle. Um, I, I put Spy T at a D tier for now, uh, just because. And again, it, it doesn't mean it's like a horrible product. It's just just because it's new. And then also like you know twenty percent target uh, isn't a bad thing at all, so I'm hoping like it'll probably eventually creep into like the C tier. Um, I temporarily put MSTY at the S tier, even though it, we don't know the distribution rate yet. But you know just based off like the price action and just like the the volatility, um, I'm pretty sure it'll be in the S tier uh, for April. Um, so. Again, uh, th this is just my opinion. Uh, don't take it too seriously. Uh, you might have different goals and preferences. Um, so if you can let me know how you would rank them, uh, I think that'd be great. Uh, if you can like and subscribe as well, I would greatly appreciate it. Uh, I'm hoping people are making good money out there. Uh, have a great one, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye now.